Hey, it's Cairo. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're in Diamond 4, starting there anyway, with Teamer Treasure or Teamer Control. As you can see, this deck is actually really interesting. Um, there's a few different versions of Teamer going out around right now, but I tweaked this one. This one, this version is my own, but it shares a lot of similar, really powerful cards in the format. I'll do a deck breakdown for you real quick. If you're not interested in that, you want to get right into the gameplay, look at the description. There's a timestamp there. You can go straight into it. There's a deck list down there below. Thank you very, very, very much for all of you returning viewers and everybody who subscribed. I cannot believe that we're over a thousand now. I just really want to express my gratitude. I don't want to take up too much time, but thank you. So here is the deck. We have three Fading Hopes early. Fading Hope is phenomenal. I put in most of my blue base control decks just because, particularly right now with all the Boros aggro and the hyper aggressive things that are hitting you, if you can Fading Hope something on turn three or turn four that has haste and really set them behind a full turn, it's fantastic. It's also great in the beginning of the game because of the scry one, it helps you locate lands or it helps you locate other control uh, little burn spells to get rid of early drop things. We have Play With Fire. Two damage to any target. If a player is dealt this way, scry one. So if you absolutely have nothing to do with this on turn one, you play a mountain, passes to them, they don't play anything. Throw this at their face, scry one. Spike Field Hazard. One damage to any target, meaning Planeswalker. It's great for taking out Lolth. Lolth comes down, makes two spiders. They only have a loyalty of one. You can hit them. Uh, exile their Lolth with that. Three Jwari Disruptions. This is, without Jwari Disruption, this deck would actually probably fail. This deck depends heavily on countering turn three things with Jwari Disruption. So if you can make it work where you have this up, particularly against uh, aggro decks, make sure that you have Jwari Disruption up on turn three. Make Disappear. Another counter. Excellent. Two cost. Counter target spell unless it's controller pays two. And we know in the format right now that a lot of times people are tapping out for things because everything's being played on curve with all these aggro decks. This is a great counter because often they can't pay the two. Dragon's Fire, three damage, instant for two mana, or if we have a gold span out, it is four damage. Great for taking out angels, anything with four toughness. If you can take out Rafine on turn three with this, pay that ward one. They'll be put behind if you're playing against Esper aggro. Expressive Iteration. A lot of times we use this on turn three, go grab a land and then put something in our hand that we're going to either build up to or good for finding another burn spell or uh, fading hope or something to control the board until you stabilize. Shatter Skull Smashing, good for taking out multiple targets. It is expensive, it's not very efficient, but when you need to take out multiple targets, Shatter Skull is here for you. Demon Bolt, one of the best spells in the format that nobody's playing right now to, to deal four damage to target creature or planeswalker. There's a lot of four toughness things. They like to get around Dragon's Fire. They like to get around play with fire. And uh, that's why a lot of people are running the Kamigawa spell, the one red, two damage, or four damage if you sack an artifact, because there's a lot of things that have four toughness in the format. Demon Bolt is great if their opponent's not doing anything on turn two. Go ahead and foretell this, and then later you have it up for one red mana at instant speed. Fable the Mirror Breaker. Good for making yourself a little 2-2 two, two red Goblin Shaman. Attack in, create a treasure token. Treasure helps you to ramp in this deck. That's why we also have big score. But the main selling point behind Fable the Mirror Breaker is uh, Saga Step Number 3. Generating Reflection of Kiki Jiki. Tap 1, tap it, create a token that's a, co a copy of a target non-legendary creature. That mostly will be Goldspan Dragon. That way you can just attack in with two, make two treasure tokens, have mana up to counter things or deluge or whatever, what have you. Sometimes, if the game's really grindy and they don't take care of the reflection, you can make copies of Titan of Industry and Holebreaker Horror because they are not legendary either. Which brings us to the top of our curve. Holebreaker Horror, one of the all-stars of Is It Control from Crimson Vow forward. 7-8 flash, flash this in to block something, and then every little instant spell that you cast, you can either return spells to opponent's hands, or you can bounce permanents from the field. Titan of Industry, 7 drop, cost 3 forests. Keep that in mind when you're laying down your lands on turns 3, 4, and 5, if you don't have a ton of treasures. At turn 7, you're going to want to have at least 3 green sources. That's why you'll see in the lands we have a lot of those in the dual lands. 
This comes down to 7-7 Reach Trample. That Reach comes into play more than you might think with all the angels and dragons flying around. You can destroy target artifact enchantment, gain 5 life, create a 4-4 four, four green rhino warrior, or put a shield counter on a creature you control. A lot of times I will make the rhino and put a shield counter. Sometimes you need to destroy a pesky artifact or an enchantment or gain some life if you're really behind. One of the cool things I like to do with this is play Titan and then put the shield counter on the reflection of Kiki Jiki, meaning that they basically have to target the Titan. They can't just take away your ability to double something because this has a shield counter on it. Makes it super annoying for them. Hall of Storm Giants. Big ass land that you can tap six mana to make it come in with Ward 3, 7-7 seven, seven Blue Giant if you need more damage at the end. Basic Island, Basic Mountain, because Field of Ruin exists in the meta. We want to have at least a couple basics. River Glide, Lava Glide Pathway, Storm Carved Coast, Crag Crown, Rockfall Vale, Bark Channel, Dream Root Cascades. We are not running Fields of Ruin in this deck because there's just simply no room for it. When you need three green mana sources on turn seven, you need to be planning the entire game to make sure that you're able to hit that when it comes around. Treasures do help, but... If you have a Bark Channel Pathway and you already have two sources of blue, as you can see, you're never going to need more than two sources of blue. So throw that down on green and get going. I sincerely hope that you guys enjoy the games. Thank you very much for subscribing, and I will catch you next time. It is Saturday. We're here with Teamer Treasure, Teamer Control, whatever you want to call it. We've got Fable of a Mirror Breaker and a Gold Span Dragon, Hull Breaker Horror, and Titan of Industry on the top. Let's do it. We'll keep this hand. Let's go Cascade first. That way we can get a Lava Glide Pathway down, then we have all three colors. Boulder and Epicure. All right, looks like, if I had to make a guess, I would think Rakdos Anvil. Let's Iteration. Hmm, they don't have an Anvil right now. It would be nice to be able to Jwari Disruption that. Let's put that in our hand. Put Fading Hope back. Yeah, that works. Is there going to be an anvil? Oh, there's a blood tithe harvester. Okay. Let's get that down on blue. Let's pass the turn. If they play an anvil, we're going to disrupt that. Okay. Can't afford to keep taking damage, so we'll get rid of that. If they're running Obnixilis, they can't run it right now. Blue, red, green, blue. Uh, we have a blue source. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Make disappear into the hand. Deluge back in and Dragon's Fire now. Get that out. This way, if they're running like Obnixilis or something, they can sack this 1 1. Soren. Okay. A little bit. A little bit troublesome. You fight for me now. I don't know that it's anything we can't handle. Let's go in blue here. Throw the dragon in. Hold up, make disappear, Jawari disruption. All right, there's an Obnixilis. We knew that. Call for dire tactics. They play that and don't play land. Damn it. Now they can put Obnixilis in. They choose to go for Lolth. All right, Jewelry here then. I was afraid of the Obnixilis coming down, but they were a little bit greedy with the Lolth. Good game.
All right. Good game. Okay, we're on the play. We have a play with fire. Demon bolt. Iteration. We only have... We have three lands. What if we're playing against Boros? I guess it's fine. We Jawari Disruption first. First land, Jawari Ruins, and then Mountain Demon Bolt. Or play with fire. Yeah, that's probably the best play. And then we'll foretell the Demon Bolt if they don't have anything to play on turn two. Boros is heavy. So you always have to ask your question, what if we're playing Boros? Which we are. So, if they play... Something that has three toughness. We can't deal with it right away. Let's do this. Let's put this in. Get this foretold. This way, they play something that has three toughness. Then they play something else next turn. Or nothing. And then we demon bolt and play with fire. Okay. We are going to... Iteration. See if we can find a red source. We can. So we'll put Deluge in the hand. Iteration back. River Glide pathway. Play that on Lava Glide. So we have our Demon Bolt up. We're prepped. We're ready to go. Bing, bang, boom. Play with fire on our face. Singe my damn beard off with that one. That's in. Brutal Cathar. Okay. Just get that out of the way. Okay. First green mana. Fable. Got a Demon Bolt ready for Thundering Raiju. There we go, baby. All right. We're going to Demon Bolt that before it even attacks. That way they can't put a counter on the Brutal Cathar. Get rid of that. Fading Hope. We will definitely keep that up. We're going to discard the Deluge into, X, or into flashback mode. That's about it, though. Another Titan. Okay. Let's attack. See what they do here. Five. Six mana available after we play our land. Play that on blue. We'll hold up a big score and a Fading Hope. Not too concerned about the Moon Rage Brute. Concerned about this, though. Get back up there, you. Okay. In for three, we take. We big score. Get rid of a Titan. We're not going to need more than one. Hope I don't live to regret saying that, but... We shouldn't against Boros anyway. Alright. Attack. I know the only way they can get rid of this is with Brutal Cathar. So we're going to shield counter Reflection. That way we know that we can copy it. And P6. We'll iteration here. Let's line up something for our next turn. A Fading Hope is perfect. Let's put a Jwari in our hand. And let's Fading Hope right now. Just to try to put the nail in the coffin. Hmm, you know what? I didn't think about that. They're going to be able to come down and play that on our Titan of Industry. That's a actually super bad misplay on me. But, does that matter? Decline. Misplay. Got to be careful. So they're gonna play, they're gonna get the Titan. 
I don't think we're going to be punished too hard from that, but it was a misplay. Doesn't feel great. I was thinking for some reason that this wouldn't be able to take the Titan. Raiju in. Okay. No attacks. Throw that down on green. Take a gold span dragon. Dragon's fire. Back for four. So then we'll gold span. And then we will. No attacks there. Gold span here. Copy that. They didn't hope that. Okay. In you go, you go, you go. All right. A little bit embarrassing about the misplay there, but didn't get punished too bad for it. We still were able to pull out the win. Should have just left that brutal Cathar alone. I guess it would have flipped either way because we get we played two spells. So ultimately, making him replay it would have been better, but is what it is. Okay, Fading Hope on turn one. I like that. I don't like the fact that we do not have a red mana. But we may be able to locate it using the Fading Hope Scry ability. So let's roll the dice. If this is going to be hard mode, then so be it. Bring it on. We have a Goldspan Dragon that requires two, uh, two red on turn five. So let's try to get there. We have a red now. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think adversary is fine. I say that because next turn I want to be able to expressive iteration and fading hope their three drop, which is probably a sun sunlight cavalier or whatever it's called. So we'll let this go. Yeah, no. We're just keeping both of these up. Play with fire and fading hope to set them back. Hmm. Okay. This is a better use for this. This fading hope is relevant all game long against Boros. All right, this time we will expressive iteration. Three lands. What do we have? We have green here, green here. We have our three green for Titan. We have two blue, we have two red. We don't care too much about what we need. Let's get another red. In addition to even the storm carved coast. Arc Channel in the hand, Rockfall Veil, or Mountain Back, Rockfall Veil. All right. Hold up a Fading Hope, and then hopefully we can Gold Span into Hullbreaker. Singed my face. Sunrise. Back up. Back up, you. Yeah, I'll hold the Jwari, I think. <sighs> no, because they're going to have five lands. They're going to play the Sun Gold Cavalier or a... If they play Thundering Raiju, they'll still have five. So let's put that back.
Okay, in you go. In you go. Let me draw a little cheap instant spell so we can hole breaker and bounce that. That's what's up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Cavalier down. Bolt spam back. Okay, good game. Well, it's going first four lands, all colors, fable, gold span. We don't have much early interaction. Snow covered island means this is gonna be mono blue tempo, probably. So let's go Dream Root. Try to save our Jwari disruption. Okay, black. I was wrong. I was wrong. We want to be able to Jwari disrupt whatever they play though, so let's put this down. Get this in on green. We can at least try to build up our three green sources while we still have the blue that we need. Nothing. Make disappear. Fable of the Mirror Breaker against Demir here with Field of Ruin. Demir Control, I'm thinking. Uh, don't want to launch into a Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Get a token down and then have them launch out a Lolf or something. Okay. We have a basic island. We'll grab that. Patience is going to be key here. If we can launch a Jwari this turn. They got around Make Disappear. I was going to say, if we can launch a Jwari this turn, then Fable and Make Disappear next turn. Uh, do, 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 do. All right. Wow, they did casualty on it. They sacked their trespasser. I guess they have a way of getting it back. They really wanted that thing gone. Okay, well, we hold up our counter spells. Say go. Okay. Another one. They got teachings of the archaics.
Okay. Now the teachings. Now we make disappear on that. No cards for you. Two cards in hand. Get rid of... Still have only one blue. We can get a blue. We don't need more than three green here. Get rid of Jwari. Get rid of Expressive. We need to draw into our bombs. Try to find a counter spell. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna take expressive iteration to try to draw into the bombs. Keep two treasures up. If they're running meat hook, they're gonna have to meat hook everything. For sure. Red, red, blue, blue, red. Here, here. Six, seven, eight. Titan? We tighten now? I think so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Titan costs seven. So dragons fire into our hand. Rockfall veil back and tighten here. Pretty sure they would have countered the gold spin if they had a counter. Okay, shield counter. And. We're gonna destroy that. I don't want them gaining cards off of that. The potential for them to draw into an eye twitch, sack it, draw a card, you know, all that is madness. Wait, where's my shield counter? Okay, if you're watching this, I don't get it. I don't know where my shield counter went, but that's fine. Let me know. If you see something I don't, let me know. You wish to know my secrets? Very well. Okay. So they're gonna try to meet hook here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They are. We're gonna take that just so they can't meet hook for less, so we can actually counter it, because they'll have to spend all their mana. If we block here, they only have to meet hook for four. So we're good. We're taking it. Need hook disappear. Good game. Yeah, because we wouldn't have been able to stop it if we were to block, say, here. This goes to 4 4, then they tap. 
one, two, and then one, two, three, four. We make disappear. They have two to pay for it. So that's why we just take the three, make the toughness for the Titan bigger. I still don't know where my shield counter went, but maybe I misclicked or something. I don't know. Good game. Hmm. Okay. Blue Island, not snow. Possible really to tell what we're playing against. Oh, I know what this is. This is gonna be Hanada. Okay. In that case, keep up Jawari. Do it. All right. Ramping into Hanada, maybe. Iteration, fine. Okay, I know they have make disappears and Jawaris and things. They're probably playing around a Jawari. They don't have a white mana yet, but they have a treasure. They drop a mana, they drop a Hinata. There's nothing we can do about it right now, but there is something we can do about it if we go Mountain Foretell. So we're tapping mana to act like we're opening the door. Gold spin. That sucks. It's not Hinata, but we are still going to go for it. Sucks is when we'll target this, they create a treasure worth two mana so they can make disappear the demon bolt, but this is what we still have to do. This is the play we have to make. Okay. I'd like to have a hard counter now. Because they're going to have six mana. I've already demonstrated they have gold span and magma opus. Try to scare him a little bit. I think we have a spell pierce or something. Leave the blue one tapped. We're in a vulnerable state right now, though. Yeah, it's not good. Uh, let's get rid of Fari. We don't need that. Risky. All right. March of Swirling Mist is our enemy, too. They targeted it, so while they did it, we're doing it back to them. Generate a treasure. We control that dragon. They get another treasure. Turn it to their hand. Ours dies. Alright, not the worst thing. I think we can probably play maybe two gold spans next turn. Maybe. Three mana available, two cards in hand for them. Hanada's not on the field, so no Magma Opus for them. All of our cards are on the field. If they can draw into Hinata here, play it, they can Magma Opus and pretty much obliterate our stuff. We're 
I would do. I were them. We'll take five. Hinata. Do they have the Opus? We're going to find out when it comes to our turn. Let's find out. It's a sorcery. That's an instant. We can try to... Dragon's Fire Hinata. If they have a March of Swirling Mist, we're kind of dead. If they have a Magma Opus, we're kind of dead. Let's do this. Let's Shatter Skull Smashing Hinata. Then if they respond, we'll Dragon's Fire it using our token. I'm supposed to tap it that way. I guess maybe it didn't end up mattering. Yeah, I think they would have countered that. They had a way to stop it. Interesting. See what they have. Do they have the Opus now? I think they do. They not? I mean, we're going in with everything, because they can only hit us for four right now. Okay. Yep. That makes sense. All right. What did you draw? Not the Opus. Yes. Had me freaked out for a second, because I was like, they're pausing a lot. I bet they have it. Good game.